So Sergey, we just had a very interesting conversation on uh, private equity funds in uh, Russia. What was the uh, main takeaway point for you from the conversation? Well, Russia has about 50 funds altogether, and uh, you guys collected uh, quite an interesting array of new entrants here, as well as uh, guys who've been present here for 15 years. Uh, the opinions that we've heard uh, range from uh, very smooth and negative to, uh, in my case, uh, very, uh, I would say, appealing and enthusiastic. Um, so the the community varies, the uh, sectors that we're going into uh, today also vary greatly. Uh, there was an opinion that it varies depending on the cycles, but I think the main uh, thing is what we're coming into the market with uh, is very much on target because uh, we are uh, buying industrial companies that work for an infrastructure sector and as, as you have heard uh, some or most of the panelists uh, that's the deal that gets more and more attention these days. So uh, if you're going to summarize the mood would you say as optimistic or pessimistic? I guess it depends on the panelist. You know what I have uh, uh, experienced energetically so to speak is that it is medium to optimistic. Um, you, you know, you got you got even the new banking entry together with a, with an international bank to advise uh, a new fund, which is of a decent mid market size. That's uh, the first one off. We've seen uh, in house uh, funds such as Alphas or even the same Gazprom Bank, which was not ever officially a fund, but here it's it's a properly structured uh, PE entity advised by uh, two uh, players uh, that are very well positioned in the mint bucket sector at M&A to go ahead with it. So I wish them and myself all success.